Hey everybody, it's Walnut Fox here. Uh, welcome back to the Hardship Server. Um, I had this really, really cool episode planned, you know, and stuff was going on, and I'd made some, you know, some improvements and some stuff floating around, and just some odds and ends. And I had a big project over here that I built uh, with a cool time lapse that. Uh, I was going to show you, but I lost it all. So, ta-da! Here it is. Yay! Right? It's a yeah. It's <laughs> it's a it's another uh, fungus. What you move it? Yeah, that thing. Anyway, um, it's a cremulus design. Uh, the Shulker Craft guys showed it off here not too long ago. So I just built a. I built one here. Everything goes down in there. Gets shroom lights. The only thing that drives me nuts about it is, is it grows up through the redstone. These dang trees, they just... They do that every time. And um, you don't necessarily choose which color tree you get. It's uh, a little bit random. Um, there's a couple of pieces of uh, nether rack under there that uh, do the work for us, but... I have been AFKing and stuff over here at the Bone Meal Farm. Uh, trying to get some more stuff set up around here. Get some blending into our paths and stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and take the dirt all the way out and around. Um, I am going to build a tree farm so we don't have to have these guys floating around anymore. Uh, up here. But uh, I think this is going to turn into a cooling tower for our power plant. So, um, and uh, you guys might, uh, if we look here, uh, we are running Minecraft 1.18 Optifine uh, Pre 8 Vanilla. So, whoops, uh, it is right here 118. So, um, now everybody knows. Well, everybody should know I have a. I do most of my recording on my Alienware Area 51M. So, um, yeah. So we're at 118. Uh, the top and the bottom of the world has been moved. I've done some pruning to the world, uh, and we've removed some of the old, well, some of the generated chunks where we flew out to the jungle, and because everything's going to be different now. Um, I saved the entire mesa that we started in. I saved all of Fire's place. I saved all of um, Imperfect's place. The uh, you know any place where something had been built, except 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 like a dummy, I uh, went and I I erased our Trident farm, which was perfect, right? I mean, might as well. I just well erased the stupid Trident farm. Uh, wrong button. So, yeah, um, that'll have to get rebuilt. So, nonetheless, uh, since how this tanked on me, uh, I've got a new, you know what, we're going to go over here to the project board. Why did I build that, do you ask? Well, because I've got a, I'm going to start a kelp farm, and I needed a whole bunch of uh, warped, uh, warped work blocks over here because I think it looks really cool in this building. It's going to look really awesome right here alongside the the deep slate tile blocks. I think that looks very, very nice. So this is going to be a giant kelp farm, and then it's going to smelt everything and blah, 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 blah. You know how it goes. Anyway, I changed out some of the the walls here, but uh, we're going to go. You know what's going to be cool is, is I won't have to have these mob spawning changed at 118. So um, this, I need to... I need, I need to, yes, I need to finish that. And I need to also uh, put up a sign on the power plant 
at some point. I want to. I want a sign like a big billboard. Uh, you know, like they used to have. Maybe right here. Anyway, uh, for the name of our plant. So. Uh, Looks like our guy made it. Everything's cool. All right. So my project for today is the bartering farm. I need to have it going because I need gravel to make dirt. So I have a plan for expanding some stuff. I'm getting some stuff together. I'm going to make... Uh, uh, I think we're going to do pushy, maybe slime blocky things with some, um, uh, whoops, uh, yeah, slime blocks to bounce them around down the way, and then whatever's left over is left over, and they all go into some fire, you know, I got some scaffolding blocks and stuff, I know I have scaffold over here, somewhere, what is, what did I leave in here, this is the stuff I've been using outside, Ah, scaffold. So, yeah, I want to do that. I, I got to gather up a few things. We'll gather up some stuff, and then uh, we'll get to moving. I'll catch up with you guys here in a minute. Well, we do have... Um, I did get rid of a lot of this terrain around here when I trimmed everything up. And we have this really weird spot right here. I don't know if you can. <laughs> there is a guardian temple half buried and it's broken. It actually gets cut into right there. We've got floating tall grass. It's crazy. So this is kind of a odd piece here, but there is somewhere. Yes, there it is. We have a new <laughs> We have a new ice boig biome, so I am going to cut down a couple of these because we're going to need some ice and because you can't move stuff with water in the nether. So this is some of the stuff I'm going to get. Uh, shulker box or so full. And we get some regular ice. This is part of that biome blending stuff. So, yeah, there's tons and tons of cool stuff to look at. But that's what I'm doing. I'll catch up with you in a minute. All right. Well, here we are at the farm here, the, uh, our temporary bartering farm. Uh, I've got four piglins upstairs here that are name tagged. And then they just had a bunch of... Uh, hoppers and whatnot under them. There's a bunch of gold up there, but this down here is where our platform is going to be. Oop, I can't get there from here. Um, there's going to be a bunch of stuff to clear out. This uh, little piece of uh, glass here that I put here just so I could stand on it. Um, I'm going to get this cleaned out. I'm going to get a bunch of stuff going. This here is where our chests are going to be for the uh, bartering farm uh, so we can AFK way up there put a bunch of uh, gold in this farm and it'll just take off for us I've been working on it in a creative world I'll show you guys what I have okay and this is what uh, I come up with uh, we're gonna use slime blocks and an ice way to run all of our items that are just inside uh, just hanging off of that ice because these chests are just one pixel smaller they'll get picked up by the hoppers but they'll still have the ice um, speed and sliding effect so this is the machine that we're gonna build as a smart dropper right here drops all of the stuff out onto the slime block it gets pushed over then gets slung down there yes it takes 
that's the there's only like two things here we have a timer now this is a DK clock a comparator DK clock that automatically resets itself with this torch this little circuit right here turns it on and off everything moves in sequence and we use a mono stable circuit here to give this observer an update and so it one ticks this redstone block out you need to uh, sticky piston obviously for that and it shuts the machine well this part of the machine down right here this section this switch here allows these hoppers to not be quasi connected by this redstone lamp so when you power a hopper it locks it and nothing can flow through it so I'm going to use this rail cart here to deliver the gold but if these droppers are powered the gold won't go in so this is where our piglins are going to stand this is an old this is a design um i think a bunch of people have used it i think the first time i seen it uh logic logical geek boy had uh, put it out uh, the piglins stand on a carpet and their head is just barely in this glass block so they can grab that block of gold there or gold ingot block of gold gee mini christmas gold ingot there and then they throw their items it gets picked up by these hoppers and put into our little dropper system here if we uh, put stuff in here you'll see it just takes off and starts putting them on there and then we'll push this button and we'll see them come well if we break that we'll see them zoom by there we go so this is what I come up with let's uh, let's get back on the server all right here we are back on the server and I'm gonna start out with I'm gonna try and get my piglins right here this is gonna be the middle of that strip and then we're gonna have these slabs there'll be a slab floor here three or five wide whatever and then we're gonna have the chests starting right here so I'm gonna go ahead and build this out and I'll bring you guys back in when there's uh, some more stuff to <laughs> kind of show you <laughs> all right so I got the chests and the floor set up there and I'm working on the filters right now so it's a pretty standard uh, it's a impulse SV item sorter so it's not hard this torch locks this hopper um, and then we have these are what the torch actually powers <laughs> and uh, I've been wanting to go ahead and color code everything so uh, that way everything works out well now uh, let me see one two three four can I get another one here oh I can okay so then there will be a repeater here okay and then and then yeah I guess we just do this there we go and then this will all be covered up with uh, redstone that way when the redstone gets signal gets to here powers the repeater turns that off turns off the torch opens this hopper allows things to go through pretty simple just got to finish it up 
just 18 of them. <laughs> these have got the, um, these have overflow protection in them. That way, if they get to, and they probably will get to a full stack of items in the next row of hoppers, then it doesn't accidentally just drain the entire thing, so, which is pretty nice. That uh, that impulse guy, he's a he's a wizard. All right, so then once we get all the sorters set up and we make sure that our hoppers are facing in towards the comparators, then we have to put in filter items that are going to be different than anything that comes through. You guys know the drill, right? So we're going to do this. Get all of our stuff set up, and yes, uh, I'm sure a bunch of you noticed it, but I don't need a the sorter or the filters down here on this end because they're all non-stackable items and overflow. So only stackable items uh, up to you know the 16, even uh, you know snowballs and whatnot uh, use these filters. So. And then we'll get all these set up, get the ice roads in, get stuff moved around, go from there. All right. Well, it may look, it looks a little funky right now, but uh, we're getting there. Um, this is most of the redstone. This is our ice track. We've got some on-off switches right here. Yes, I have scaffolding. All over the place but I'm using slabs and stuff so um, I've already cleared out what chests we had up here and you can see that it does do exactly what it needs to do I didn't have any gravel so yeah um, it's working sometimes these will overshoot and go into the bin uh, the this is for nuggets, iron nuggets, didn't have any. But uh, here, you see this is one without a filter. Uh, all of the, like I said, all the redstone is finished. So, other than the rail track, that's going to feed all this stuff. But, it's getting on to time to, just about time, to start go ahead and put these guys in here. So, I... Oh, you can't put, uh, that's, that's unfortunate. There we go. All right, so I'm going to get these guys upset with me. I'm going to make, I can, uh, pretty much all of them are going to come out of there all at once, ain't they? Dang it. Anyway, I'm going to get them in here and, uh, Set up the pistons to push the glass down, all that happy stuff. What we do is we, we're going to put a piece of glass right here. So we need a piston, another piece of glass, and if you put a button on the side, it pushes it very fast. But what I need to do is I need to wait on the glass because I'm going to try and get them to follow me through around and walk over the top of these. So I'm going to get this all rigged up. Hopefully everything works. I'll bring you guys back. All right. Well, we got we got our guys. It definitely wasn't easy. <laughs> I made a little bit of a mess, but um. I just let them down through here. Uh, forgot a forgot a spot right there. Almost died. Had to bring him back up. Anyway, I gotta cut down this giant tree I made now, <laughs> and um, finish everything up. So we've got four guys down there. They've all got glass in their heads, so they can't can't muss with you and they've all been name tagged so anywho's 
uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean up my mess and bring you guys back. All right, there it is. It's working. Oh yeah, we're getting all the stuffs. Everything is all sorted out nice. I don't know why I have three chests for obsidian, but whatever. So yeah, there it is. So hopefully, uh, you know, it'll work. <laughs> uh, I'll get a enclosure around this thing, make it look pretty. I've been trying to do that this uh, this season, so just kind of trying to get it, get everything, do a little bit better. I don't know why those get stuck there every once in a while, but anyway, hopefully you guys liked it. I'll uh, have some more stuff for next time, and uh, until the next one, have some fun and play some games. Mm -hmm. See ya.